Previously on Agora Core. I am the leech, Hayes. You are proving to be most useful. I have sensed a powerful presence. Such a creature could be a threat to my longer plans. Find a dangerous being to kill, also to return any living slaves of the creature. Okay, let's go. There's something going on up north, and I want to know what it is. Okay, I'll uh, raise my hand in a halt gesture. Ahead of us, it's inky black. There's something I don't know how to describe it aside from its tangible dark. This cloud is bad. No, no, he's a brave young man. He can go. And out you come the other side. Right, there's a big cloudy donut, and in the middle is a camp with people and camels in there. In the distance, you see large creatures, and then as one, they move towards you. Oh, God. Agaricor Podcast. An original roleplay using Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition. Player characters and Dungeon Master interact online using Roll20 and Skype. Dungeon Master and Podcast Editor John Paget. Player characters played by Dan, Ben, Finn, Terry, Rob, and Paul. Jar looks very dead. Um, at the moment, you can see Unte trying to revive no, him. No. She looks over to Lice and says, Is there anything can be done? So I've just sorted out Nomo. He's got 14. Great, thank you. Um, yeah, but Jar's dead. Yes, Jar. Oh, Jar. Jar, Jar. Jar. <laughs> Jar. There is something I might be able to do, but oh, don't get your hopes up, love. No. No, I'm afraid to say Jar's gone. I'm sorry, love. Well, I will not give up. I've come this far with him. And she takes him to this tent over here and drops him in there and says, we must look, look for some, something. There must be something we can do. I will cave. do what I can. I, I will see if I can help him. I'll, I'll put the periaptive wound closure around his neck briefly. Okay. I'll check out this cave, John. I go put my hand on his forehead, trying to heal him. And when I feel like I'm not being watched, I try and see if he's got anything uh, nice I can steal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Is this whilst Nomo is doing a periapto boon closure or is this after he's gone? Well, I think I'm not being observed. Okay. I'll, I'll put my hand on his forehead and say, yes, he seems to be in trouble. I think I might be able to help. Wow. Well, well Hector is distracted. I'm going to loot as many bodies as possible. Okay, let's do things out of turn. So periapto boon closure. I'll put it on him and I'll watch and concerned. You're trying to heal him and, and Hex is taking his kidneys. <laughs> <laughs> Put all the loot I find in a pile right here. With advantage, roll um, sleight of hand, Hector. All right. Um, Nomo, you notice Hector attempt this. He seems to wait for a moment, but there's no doubt that he's... Uh, you can uh, see him scanning his... And wink. I shake my he, he knows me pretty well. <laughs> I, I shake my head, but yeah, let him do what he's doing. Okay. But I'll, I'll even help watch to make sure that uh, Ente isn't cottoning on to what Hector's doing. Okay, sure, sure. Ente's already scanning, looking through tents and things. Hector, uh, yeah, you find some scrolls, he has an amulet, and you find a purse. I take the lot. Uh, when you have a chance, let me know when you're looking through it all, and I can tell you what they are. Nomo, you wait for okay. a bit. Tell me how long you want to wait for any change. <laughs> yeah, just one or two minutes. Sure, sure. Um, it doesn't appear to stabilize, Jar. I'd like to put my ring on uh, Jar. <laughs> what? Sure. Doesn't appear to make any difference. I will blink while the ring is sure. on his finger. Again, it doesn't seem to have any effect on this unconscious body. I'll take the ring back. Okay. Has anyone checked that he's dead? <laughs> well, you, you know, we never thought of that. All this time we were trying to bring him back to life with... I'm going to check for a pulse and uh, any sign of breathing. Okay, you can confirm if you wish to the others that he has no pulse and he's not breathing. I'm too busy uh, consoling Inte. <laughs> I'm rubbing his shoulders and stuff. 
she somewhat accepts that, but it, it's kind of rubbing on the move because at the same time as she has a moment with you and then she'll be off again looking and searching through tents and what have you, trying to find anything. Yes. Also, you know, she's looking to you. She asks occasionally, have you never heard anything of any way to, to get to bring someone back? There must be a way. I, I can't lose him. The best I can do is, is pray to Pelor. I'll get down on my knees and I'll pray to Pelor to see if he can do anything for Jar. Is this a momentary thing, or are you going to spend some time? I'll spend some time doing it. And I'll say, I, I've heard of other clerics being able to raise the dead. Hey, I could probably learn a spell to raise the dead. We'd have a zombie. Well, no. That'd be no, so like, cool. Not zombie raising, but actually bring them back. I think it's possible. Lice, do you know anything about these, uh, you know, very powerful... That's how I'm praying. That's how I'm praying. <laughs> <laughs> There was some searching going on as well, wasn't there? I think Oryx, you were searching bodies. Yeah. Okay. Give me a d12. All right, aside from your weaponry and a few trinkets, you find some zircon, which is transparent pale blue-green gem on one of them. Whoa. Isn't that an antihistamine? <laughs> <laughs> it it is, yeah. <laughs> Useful to get back to the black smoke. Bear that in mind. <laughs> Bear that in mind. Other than that, uh, give me 3d6. Okay. Okay, you find 15 GP as well among the bodies. And also another one of those rings. Okay, that's cool. Lice, once your prayer has done, give me a religion roll. Yes, look how this is. Anything? Okay, your mind clears for a moment. You do see some higher colours of Pelor. But no communication is made. He's not answering. I left a message for him, love, but <laughs> Yeah. He'll get back to me. Don't worry. Right, if she got on her knees and prayed. Yes. Mm. <laughs> uh, give me two D one hundreds, Oryx. Okay. Wow. Didn't even get over a hundred. Fifty one. Okay. Dang it. Dang it indeed. And you find a dead scarab beetle pressed into a silver box on Ooh. one of them. And Is it a scarab finder? You don't know. It's a dead scarab beetle. You find a tiny silver icon of a raven. Wait, is that one of the things that if you rub like one of the material animals, like the ivory goats? Again, you don't know. It looks fairly crudely made. Uh, you don't think it's magical in itself. You think it could be attuned to you in some way. By itself, it has no magical properties. I'm just going to take forever to do our kind of checks on all these things. Hold on, hold on. Rub it. Rub it. We found a okay. small silver raven. What was the familiar that you sent into the mists? A raven. What the hell? Okay. We have two uh, camels over here, right? Just two normal camels. Two stupid camels. Can we just send one of them into the mists? Really? Yeah. Okay. Um... John, I'm standing at the mouth of the cave. <laughs> Okay, um, everyone else, you can see Elias wandering towards this cave. Just for your information, imagine that distance from the black mist going towards the mouth of that cave. That seems to stretch around as if the cave was central to this area. So this bandit camp is quite large and there are many more tents around the side of it. You can see in the distance more of these slave or weak-bodied beings wandering around. Just to give you the idea of the size of where you are. Any more bandits? There are a couple of bandits. There's one or two frantically running around, and there's one in, in a distance who seems to be just doing menial work. I think we should kill him. Where did we find this little silver raven? You found it on the body, or Oryx picked it off a dead bandit. I, yeah, I want to drive a camel into the mist. Okay. It seems reluctant. Uh, animal handling check. Sure. Pevel, you, you struggle. This camel puts up a fight. Okay. <laughs> Can someone help me? I'm trying to turn this camel into something silver. I shake my head condescendingly and then follow Rob. I'm going to say, I, I think we might need those camels. <laughs> but I, the I silver I, raven! I like, I'm not the smartest guy around here, but I don't believe that that's necessarily related. Yes, yes, I know. That's what I want to find out. By testing on this camel. But I, I don't want to kill a camel. Come on! <laughs> Maybe we could use you instead. Yeah, I'll shake my head and I'll, I'll go get my spear out of the other camel's head. <laughs> <laughs> Basically hunt bandits with my bow and 
kill them from a good distance if I can. Uh, fine. Uh, while do they, they do that, I'll go talk to some of these emaciated slaves over here, John. Okay, in the meantime, have you actually gone in, Lice, to this cave yet? Yeah? Uh, okay. no. no. I've just got to the entrance. Lice, oh. would you mind healing me, please? <sighs> I'm, I'm rather wounded. Oh, all right. Go on, oh, go on in. Yeah, go on. Come in. I'm clever. That's there the you go, Hector. you got ten hit points, brother. Oh. What can your wonderful night vision see? What can my wonderful night vision see? Okay, so Lice saw as far as some vegetation which was growing around the outside and some plants at the bottom of this. And within the cave, you can see what appears to be... How far you can Dragon. see? 60 foot, right? So you can see know. something very striking. It's a pool of water. Ooh. The water's bubbling. There's a pool of water in there. It seems to be bubbling. <laughs> Maybe it's a jacuzzi. <laughs> Let's have a look then, shall we? I'll light the end of my mace and go in. Yeah, I go with him slowly. If we can see anything else. Before you go, I, I can play a song of rest that will give us all some hit points, as long as you can Great. hear it. How long is the song? <laughs> I'll play it for you now. Is it the 12 inch? <laughs> no. Okay, gather around, children, for just a moment. I'll go on in. I'll gather around. It's not Kumbaya, is it? No. The music seems to bring other people around you as well, so Untape comes back to you. And all the dead people who were killed, they come back to life again. <laughs> no. no, no, but the camels do sit there and listen to you. Okay, here it's we go. It's very calming. Song of Red. <laughs> wow. Nice. 1d6, everyone. Okay. But what it does, in fact, is you need a short rest, so you do need to spend an hour resting. Oh, forget that. Well, this might not be a bad thing, I suppose. That song has made me quite tired. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, and that means that Oryx, you Ooh. have enough time to create your creature as well. Yay. Thank you, Pat. That was as warm as Pelos glow. <laughs> I feel fully rejuvenated. There we go. Me too. When everyone wakes up, I'm going to do our kind of checks on the strange items. And you wanted to appraise them for magic? Okay, so what's the first one for? The 23? One, that's for the raven. Okay, the raven, it's a treasured possession that you believe, if you could match that possession, it could be a vessel for that creature. So I have to find another one of those? You think, for example, if you had a raven familiar, you could... I could turn it into the little thingy. Exactly. Right. It could be a refuge for it, if it got into danger. Whoa. What was the 13 for? That was for the blue-green gem. It has natural crystal energy, but it is essentially a crystal. I don't need it. Does anybody want a strange crystal? We could probably hold on to it until we could sell it. Hmm. Well, Hector likes shiny things. Let me have a look at it. <laughs> Does it look like it's valuable? It's worth at least 12 GP. Yes, thank you. That's, that's very kind of you. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, but we have to use the gold on something actually useful. Like more camels rather than clogs that would have saved lots of time and things. <laughs> uh, I think any purchasing responsibility should be taken away from all of you and placed solely with me. Next time you can walk here in your clogs. We're taking oh. the camel. I will walk here in my clogs. Those camels are pretty slow. They just walk anyway. <laughs> I'll put it towards my clog fund. And that goes for anything any of you have accrued so far. Clog fund. <laughs> Including the things that you've just accrued, I'll whisper to him out of earshot of Ente. <laughs> <laughs> I wink again. I'll put my finger next to my nose and nod knowingly. If you put your finger next to your nose and then nod, you'll poke yourself in the eye. <laughs> oh, I, I thought I was I thought I was capturing an English man there. <laughs> You've got to be careful with these metaphors. I'm gonna try to put my weasel in the raven thing. <laughs> okay, you struggle for a moment. You can feel the force of one and the emptiness of this icon. It doesn't seem to work. <laughs> Unte taps you on the shoulder, Oryx, and says, "Can you tell me what this is?" She has desperation in, in her eyes and she holds out a wand oh it's just a normal wand i can Ooh. hold on to that will it help hey, jar I don't know what it does 
Will it help? Yeah, I'll make our can of check first. Okay, do an arcana check. Eleven. Okay. No, you're not entirely sure. You think you'll need to study it for longer. Do we have much time? Sure. No, this cave is worrying me. Well, so are these gormless women. There's a there's a pool of water in there which is bubbling. It's still bubbling. Can yeah. we take a, a quick look at what's in these barrels first? Sure. It's a clear liquid, as water might be. And has anyone spoken to these slave people? Ooh. Nope, we haven't yet. Okay, so by the time you get there, a few more of the barrels are on the cart. Central. I'll talk to one of these women. Okay. So yeah, that one's a woman, and the one next is a man. She has gaunt look on her face, eyes which aren't seeing completely clearly, and she pays you attention as you come close to her. Uh, look at her from a, a medical perspective. Well, how bad is she? Give me a medical check. Okay. Let me examine you, darling. She doesn't look like she looks after herself particularly well. She's thin, without being perilously so, and mentally looks probably a bit run down. Right. Do, are they still sort of working? There's four of these on the cart. Another one has brought a camel, and they right. appear to be um, saddling up the camel as, as we speak. I'll tell them to stop working. You can stop now. You can stop working now. I think you guys need a rest. It's commanded? Uh, yes. Mm, praise be, Joe. She mutters and walks off around the rock. Oh. Okay. Now that goes for all of you. You, you can stop work now, I think. Yes. Uh, we have more barrels. Do you want us to stop working in any way? What's in these barrels? Mm, water for the troops. For the troops? Yes. Which troops are these? Troops of Vijo. Of Viju? Vijo. <laughs> All praise Vijo. All praise Vijo. I think they've probably got enough now. So you can have a rest. But be aware that we're going to work you very hard once you've had a rest. Very good. <laughs> praise be Vijo. Um, before you go, what, what's in the cave? The dwelling of Vijo. All praise. Praise be Vijo. As I say, I'm sorry, but I like the end of a mace and I guess we'll go into the cave. Tentatively. Tentatively, okay. Take your actions, show me what you're doing. I'm happy to um, go first, going slowly, scanning the cave for any size of Viju. Okay. I or... say praise be Viju now and again. As you go, okay, nice. But if you'll allow me 10 minutes, I will inspire you. Is and this one of your shorter songs? <laughs> it's a speech. I won't replay for you here, but uh, it'll give you eight, up to eight temporary hit points. Would 10 minutes be enough to study the wand? Oh, you listen, listen to Pat. I'm going to sit down and cross <laughs> <with Pat. laughs> It is very inspiring. Halfway through the song, I wander off, shake my head. <laughs> and you will not get the benefits. <laughs> I've already got temporary No hit inspiration points. for you. Yes. <laughs> I'm listening, Pat. Go ahead. I'm all for inspiration. Boo! <laughs> From a distance. You're making this very difficult. But I promise you, if we go into that cave, and if you feel my words, the depth of my song, the depth of my passion, you will be emboldened, strengthened through your loins and veins and everything else that you have inside Tem of you. Temporary hit points don't stack, do they, John? I don't think so, no. Let's say yeah. not. I say, this is, this is rubbish. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I can feel the length of your passion from here. <laughs> the length of your passion is going to be another rival for uh, uh, title of this week's podcast. <laughs> the length of your passion. <laughs> yes. I think that's the best yet. My jaw is dropped and I'm nodding enthusiastically to everything Pat says. <laughs> <laughs> I grasp my loins protectively. Wonderful. <laughs> Temporary hit points for you all. I'll give Pat a hug after. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and with that... And as you wander through, then, Hector, as you get to here, um, you hear a n well. Me. <laughs> you can see um, <laughs> there's a line of plants along the entrance, but there's also a line of plants part way through, about here. What are those plants? A line of like? plants. Three on either side. I held up my hands for everyone to stop. All right. Well, I just stand still for a minute. 
Okay, as you adjust your eyes and as you stay behind the plants, you can see this scene in front of you. Dog-like creatures. Whoa. Looking ahead. Eyes menacing, growling. Behind, some of you who are not, who do not have dark vision, probably cannot see, but you can hear the voice saying, Stop. I am Vijo. We have entered my Vigio. domain. We have come to praise you, Vijo. I just kneel where I am. You are not I one am. of us. No Fine. And you can hear over here, It's a trap. No. Don't come further, strangers. This come from over here. But Vijo, I love you so. a very beautiful human. A uh, female figure over there. Stay your ground. But Vichu, I have waited so long to be with you. <laughs> you mock me, Dark One. <laughs> Vichu, your words hurt me, but my love for you is nonetheless. One step further. And Come to me. <laughs> I, this is my domain. I am staying where I am. This is your last warning. Strange What's ones. this over here, John? It's some sort of potion. If you like, you can try and identify it. Perception? Yeah. And 15? you can make a decision between nature and history. They're both bad. I'll take nature. Okay, or arcana. Oh, okay. I uh, don't think it matters. Okay. 10. Yeah, you didn't pay much attention when yeah. you were studying, but you think this could be a fabled potion. You can remember it in your textbooks, and it's as brilliant as it appeared on the page. Maybe more so. Psst, Pebble, Joe for traps. Would you, I implore you, let us pray before you and offer worship and gifts. Oh, shut up, Peter. I am willing to listen. Come to my pool and kneel. Pebble, Pebble, there we go, there we go. Oh, good boy, good boy. I walk forward very slowly. Check for traps, John. Okay, you're walking forward. Praise be for you. <laughs> then walk forward uh, slowly, Hector. I'm guessing you're currently there. Well, yes. Okay, walk forward slowly then, if you wish. John, just to say, I'm going to check for traps as best I can. I've just rolled a perception. Okay. okay. <laughs> as he, as he uh, goes. I'd like to check for traps as well. Okay. I'm backing out of the cave. <laughs> <laughs> There's a kind of like a seal in between where the cracks would normally be in the stone area here. You pick up Pavel Hector, you also notice this as you are about to step on the next slab. It runs along this area. Uh, where the black lines are between the slabs. Uh Are these seals? They are not seals. (laughs) Does it cover the whole distance or could we walk around it or just step over it? It appears to cover the distance as far as you can tell. Can Do I, I think if I kind of jumped over an entire paving stone thing that I would avoid it, or do I not know? There's another seal on the other side, so you think that maybe that could do it? Pebble, I feel you should have the first honour of prayer. Step forward, my brother. <laughs> My eyes narrow suspiciously. <laughs> oh, Praise no, no, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't possibly. I couldn't possibly. <laughs> Where's the other line of interest? You can see where the cracks are between the slabs. There's one right in front of Hector, and the other one is five foot away. So the same slabs, but the other side of the slabs going across, both running across. Okay. And by seal, do you mean that there's some sort of mark that you'd get between slabs. Instead of um, an actual gap or crack in the stone, there appears to be something in between. Same colour, sort of a black colour, but it seals the crack. Okay. The rest of you who aren't Hector and Pevel, you're not sure why they're bumbling. Okay. (laughs) I'd like to step forwards and feign a mild struggle with Hector. I'll give Hector a wink and say... No, 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 you should go first. You, I'm not going first. I'm, not, I'm going to lean backwards as if trying to resist going first. And then go, <laughs> oh, okay then! And sort of stumble leap and try and find myself over there without touching the spit in the middle. Okay. Uh, it's but, basically a DC7. Sorry, Oryx. But before he does that, do I see Rijo? Um... <laughs> Okay. Oh dear. Well, let's do that in a second. You're growing accustomed. As they've been bumbling, and that's actually been to your advantage because 
There's a glow from the pool, and from the pool you can see the face of this person over here. You can definitely see the dogs as well. You can also smell the dog-like creatures. I'm not so sure about this area over here, a bit further away. You probably can't see her or the potion fully. Okay, I'm gonna cast Improved Minor Illusion right here of Vigil, or what looks to be him, but more powerful, like glowing and like maybe hovering. And him saying, Imposter, I am the real Vigil. Dogs, kill him. <laughs> <laughs> okay and, I, and i'm gonna step back looking like astonished or startled i use this to jump towards where dan is as well okay we'll go as far as imposter someone to stop him as this improved money illusion appears of Vijo commanding the dogs do i use deception because i like look surprised like i didn't do it uh do a performance okay of fake Vijo. Holy it's oh. magnificent. <laughs> oh, oh. This is Vijo with an Oscar. Sorry. What? Perception. A oh, performance. Ah. Oh. Oh. They look the same. Well, I'm taking it. A natural 20 is a natural 20. It doesn't matter what the plus is. So describe this scene of <laughs> this other character turning around and pointing at the dogs. Pops into the air with like a big glow and like some fire particles around his feet, and he's hovering there, very menacingly with a giant shadow, with a voice that sounds like it's coming at you from all directions. Okay, these dogs just start to just back off, and you hear <laughs> as they all back off. At the same time, roll a d fifty, Pebble. D five zero. Yes. Oh. Seven. Nice. Okay. <laughs> you hear a crackle and lightning bolts shoot from the walls on either side of you. Straight. Um, straight. <laughs> 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 oh, wonderful. Um, so do a dexterity check. I'm stood right next to Pavel. Should I take one too? Yes. No, this is uh, before you moved over. Oh. Um, right, uh, do, one with, do, do one with advantage, Hector. Okay. 19. Okay. And what did you get? I haven't done it yet. Have okay. I? I'll do it for you. Right, here it goes. You're welcome. Oh, yeah. You're okay. You change your plans like a spinning top, and then suddenly you back off, Hector. I decide that's not such a good idea. Indeed, I do. What about me? <laughs> Pebble, you avoid it in part, but you will take half damage. Is As... that half 47? No, half of whatever I roll now, which is 40... <laughs> 48. So take 10 damage oh. as you get a shock as you jump over. And at that, roll initiative. Oh, no. Well, Vijo must have a lot of good loot on him. <laughs> the positive. I'm a glass half full. I'm just the company clown, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> Is everyone gone? So th this lightning bolt happens. You hear this character, Vijo, over here. So fools, no! It's a trick! And that's when, Pat, you decide what you have to do. Um, I will um, cast a level one spell. There we go. If they fail, they take the psychic damage and move as far as away. Okay, so it's you're almost shocking them. Wow. Okay, who's this against? Vijo. So he'll take that psychic damage which you've rolled. Is that right? He's already done the psychic damage. I guess so. Modifier is four. So it's, it's, For it's DC fourteen then. Fails. Oh, so yeah. it takes the full brunt. Takes five damage. Which doesn't seem a lot. You just, oh yeah, you, 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 you're all two plus one plus two. Oh, that's bad luck. It'll move as far away as it can from you. He just flees and takes your damage. Nice job. Anything else, Pat? No. Okay, no more. I'm uh, looking for a perch and curious about the plant in front of me. Is this plant of any interest or? Uh, there are three plants. So they're on the okay. edge of this entrance way. They are fairly short. They look almost furry. They have little hairs on the green leaf. 
Sting your nose. And would this be a, a scramble up for me, or is that an overhang? I don't know what the rock shapes are. Uh, they're on the outside. Oh. Okay. On the inside, they go inward, so they sort of they curve around and in. It'd be difficult to get purchase. It's okay. like a dome. All right. Um, kind of, yeah. I can't see Viju anymore. Do you have dark vision? I do. Okay, Ooh. sixty foot, right? Yeah. Uh, no, you can't see him. All right. Um. I'll shoot at one of these dogs. <laughs> okay. I'll shoot an arrow. That's the closest one here. On the left hand side. Okay, yeah, hits. Takes six damage. Okay, Unte. She's just seen what's happened. She will run in, jump over this, and start firing. Eleven. But her, her aim isn't true, it just rebounds off the rock. Hector. That potion which is um, over there, mm. is it just there to be picked up? It's on a plinth, probably up four foot up, and there it is. It's four pretty, um, yeah, it's large, and you may be able to distinguish what it is. Depends on your background. Can I distinguish what it is? You can try an arcana history or nature. Okay, it won't be an action to do it, will it? No. It's like a bonus action. You're just glancing over. Actually, it, it doesn't matter. Does it look like it's something I can pick up easily enough? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to cast Expeditious Retreat as a bonus action, um, which lets me use dash, certainly for this one. With this super speed I have, I run over to it, grab it, and run back as far as I can. Okay, can you show me what you do? I run to it in a straight line, pretty much. Do you go to there and pick it up? Go to there and pick it up? Straight to it. Like that? Yeah. Okay, you're sprinting over here, you get to here, and you attempt to pick it up. Your hand brushes against something at the same time as you feel something below you trigger and spiral up your body. Can you please roll a d100? D100? Yeah. Oh, you're dead. <laughs> In fact, before you do that, I think it's only fair that you have a chance to see if you can fight this. So it's, it's, um, it would be wisdom. A wisdom save. Okay, no, so now you roll the d100. Please roll five. Why a five? Yeah, how do you know? Because only he takes five damage. Oh, I see. Five. Yeah, zero five would be pretty impressive. Okay, the character becomes incapacitated and spends the duration screaming, laughing, or weeping. <laughs> can I Her choose? Choice? You can choose. <laughs> Have you noticed the difference? <laughs> and am, I, am I on the floor? Incapacitated, or... so not necessarily, but you're essentially, you can't really move anywhere. So you could be bent over, doing one of these things, you could be lying on the ground, rolling around. It's up to you. Okay, I, I want to be on my back laughing. Okay, you're, you're on your back laughing. No problem. So, so you guys see this, you might, on your turns, make a perception if you wish. Oryx. I can move half my walking speed and then do an attack, right? You can go your full speed if you wish. And still do an attack? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna move over, over to close to where Hector is. Yeah, place yourself. And. No, we'll do an ice knife uh, at this dog. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, these creatures, who some of you recognize as jackal wares, they will. What does a jackal wear? <laughs> Fur, mainly. Oh. <laughs> mainly. <laughs> oh, no, badly. He's going to take 3d6 damage. Nice. Oh. Ooh. Oh, wow collapses and it's a five foot radius so does it get the other one too so that's a really good move uh dexterity save here we go there you go that's better so it just takes um half the damage so it takes six damage plus the five so that's 11 damage wow okay that one doesn't collapse nope well, if the last one took 12 damage, then... No, you're right. 
Uh, the first time I made a mistake, it's not dead. <laughs> the first one took <laughs> oh, on. 11 damage. Yeah. It took all 12, and then plus your 5, so it took 17 damage. It's dead, right? No, it's very, <laughs> very badly hurt. These Good. things are impossible with camels. You're not almost... as bad as camels. <laughs> okay, life. Camels with thumbs are tough. They are. Right, I'm going to run in to here, just in front of Pat, as my eyes adjust mm -hmm. to the darkness. I've got my mace lit, uh, and I'll go, oh, bollocks, there's two of them. And then I'll go and twat Viju, the closest one. Right. Here we go. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Um, I, I came in from outside. You did, you did. You saw this yes. this ferocious, fire-eyed guy barking at the dogs and you just swung at him. Yes, I'll attempt to hit him. <laughs> nice. And you make contact with nothing. What the heck? What's going on? <laughs> it's like the sandwich. <laughs> I've seen the sandwich. Oh my God. <laughs> the sandwich. What's the matter with Hector? <laughs> <laughs> and at that point you can hear fools it, it is an illusion go back back and this creature appears oh my God. a lion's body and a female head the potion was covering her lion body the potion disappears <gasps> that must have been a big potion or is she just really small and a plinth disappears as well Big plinth. Yes. Oh my god. It's my turn after her. Yeah. But I mostly just want to respond to what she said and ask. What do you mean? What, was the potion the illusion? Is, is, is everything an illusion? <laughs> <laughs> you will pay the day you took down my army. And she barks, the jackal wears seem to have more resolve and they approach again okay so it's their turn what she does is she goes over here five foot and touches the laughing mess that is hector she will then back up hold on where did you touch me on the arm she disappears into the distance out of sight at the moment so the jackal wears spring forward one straight at oryx and here is an attack, Oryx, on you. Oh, Oryx, oh, good. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's all fine, Lice, don't you? You'll be the one healing me. Oh. Uh, on. If there's anything left of you to heal. 21, doing three damage to you as it bites into your leg, Oryx. Okay. The temporary hit points are doing their job. Okay, I'm going to roll, but chances are Jackalware will believe that the illusion the fake wizard is still actually real. Although Lysa swung through it, so I'm giving it a chance here. Oh, wow. Is it utterly convinced about this, and in fact is still so scared of the illusion Oryx created? It's got disadvantage on this attack, but it doesn't matter anyway, because it's going to miss, because it's not real. Okay. <laughs> this one also does the same check. Doesn't believe it's real, and just goes straight for Lysa. So Lysa, this one... <laughs> So it bites you, 19. Once again, it does the worst damage it possibly can do. So three damage to you, Lice, three damage. Um, are they sort of like anthropes? They're like dogs. Oh, they're bites, are they sort of, do we get infected then? Not as far as you know, you think you're fine, but uh, you may want to take precautions later on. <laughs> Don't back off. <laughs> I know where you were. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't see. <laughs> I was waiting for the things to come up. Oh, okay. These three then. On the other side, Unte is in sight. So that one will go there. Attack. So she takes another three. This jack aware will do the same. And again, get through the armor. This time doing maximum damage of eight. So Unte is in the thick of it. Now they do have another thing they can do. This one will do a gaze directly at you, Pevel. As it sees you looking towards it. The Jekyll at the back. So yeah, this is the attack it does, Dan. So you have to try and beat Wisdom save of 10. It's quite a tall order for Pebble. Mm. Here it goes. 
Okay. Wait, what else? <laughs> okay, you shake off the uh, momentary thought of sleep. And that's their turn. So, Pevel. I shall skip. Ooh. I've gone to the edge of whatever this is. Yep. And um, uh, issue a sneak attack to this one over here. Yes, because in case there, that will work. Aha! AC is 12, so that will hit. How much do you do? 17. 17. Obliterate. This, Jack, would you want to describe that hit? Um, I leap onto the golden edge uh, of the thing. Uh, I stab it in the head and narrowly avoid falling backwards into this pool in surprise. Wonderful. Can someone make a dead pile over here? Need a circle or some sort. Good move, Pevel. Back to the top. It is Pat on top. Brilliant. Thank you. All right. Can I move to here and use my longsword? Yes, you can. Here it comes. Oh, good lord. <laughs> it was a great thrust, but missed entirely. I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> Any movement, Pat? No, I'll stay there. All right. No more. Can I hop over that square and, and move over this way before I attack? Yep, that's fine. Essentially, just don't roll a uh, one or a two. On a... Athletics. Okay. You can do it. <laughs> You can't. You deserve to be hit by lightning. I'll do. So I'm gonna go there and uh, I'll try a spear on the jackal where in front of me. Mm -hmm. You just ruined my plan, Terry. Sorry. Twelve hits, ten damage. It'll take ten damage from you. Follow up with a bonus, unarmed on the same one. Mhm. Mm wow. Good hit. It's still up. It's still up, and then I'll, I'll use a flurry of blows. <laughs> Do another one. Nice. And if he's still up, uh, I it, think he'd have to try saving against uh, being moved. I'm trying to push him back. You've pushed him back. You've pushed him to death. Boom. Okay. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> nice. <Thanks. Ooh. laughs> Any additional movement? you got about 10 Well, you being you, you've got a bit more than 10 foot. Probably 20 foot left. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to scooch through this way okay that does go through the area of this jekyll oh uh, would he have an opportunity of attack or exactly he can, he can lash out at you all right i'll i'll try it okay so here we go nope way too slow you have to get up very early in the morning to catch nomo <laughs> <laughs> unte is gonna try and um, fight back and she's been on great form recently so here we go bloody hell what'd she do Nice. 26. Yep. So 8 and 6 damage. <laughs> Minus um, 14. Uh, okay, very injured dog. Oryx. I'm going to move out of the way. Wait, is Hector still incapacitated? Uh, Hector is still incapacitated, yes. Okay. I'm going to move up here and shoot a firebolt at this one. I mean, you can do that, but again, you're going through its area so it'll have a chance to like, attack you oh can i go 25 foot and still attack i think if you go out of someone's zone but is that an also attack of opportunity if you go out of someone's uh, i think so yeah. yeah so by leaving this area because you're currently engaged in combat oh. you can disengage but if you have an action in mind then it might attack you just bop it on the nose um i'm just gonna use my light blade I think I might have hit Nomo or Hector. Ooh, that could be interesting. Okay, roll, roll a d6. If it's a 1, then you just slice Nomo. If it's a 6, you just drop the dagger. No. Five. Okay, no, it's just a really clumsy uh, attack. <laughs> I'd rather slice Nomo than drop the dagger. There we go, yeah. <laughs> Characters are replaceable, daggers aren't. <laughs> yes, daggers are, are so scarce. Okay, so you missed. Are you going to move at all? If I move out of combat, that's still an attack of opportunity. Right? Yes. Lice. Yes. You're not in combat anymore, so do what you wish. Right. I will jump up onto the rim of the pool and do that. All right, nice. Right. And then I guess I'm too far away to see where the llama and the other dude went. Essentially, I mean, you're a human, aren't you? Yes, but I do have the end of my mace lit. Really? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you this this time. Woman! 
lion woman. I can just see her bottom. Yes, you can see the lion part of her. Ooh. Is there anything else you are going to do? Shout at her. In the name of Pelor, come and face me. Okay. I don't have any spells. Healing everyone last week used up all my spells. I think that's very honest of you. It but is, you did yeah. have a short. We had a short rest after. Yeah, so I can do a group heal, but I can't do anything else. Okay. So Sorry. I'm just gonna just gonna hit this lioness woman with all I've got. Okay, nice. Okay, their turn. She disappears into the darkness again. If you Pussy. want, if you want, you can do a perception check to see if you can tell which direction she goes into. I saw, but I will. Lois perception. Ah. I didn't see her at all. No, she just disappears and uh, the sound of her echoes around the chamber. Okay. Okay, and this will happen as well. The Jekyll wears then. Having had no luck against the fake wizard, it'll turn and um, they will both attack Nomo. They have advantage, Nomo, because they are attacking as a pack. That's something else that Jekyll wears can do. I see that. Okay, so first one. 13 and 10, nothing happens. Second one, 19 and 12. You are very hard to hit, Nomo. <laughs> but you knew that. Thank goodness. We, uh... <laughs> this Jekyllware will go back five paces. It's still in the same zone. And it'll team up with this Jekyllware. And they'll do the same thing to Ente. So they're teaming up. First one, tax with advantage. Unte has AC of 16, not a problem that she can deal with that. But that's a bit better. So she takes three damage as they relentlessly bite at her heels. She's down to 22 hit points. Okay, that's their turn. So yeah, it's over to you guys. It is Ben. I want you to at least have the opportunity to try and get out of it again. I think we said DC 14 Wisdom. Um, This Wisdom will be Disadvantage as well. But your disadvantage roll is 16. So yes, you stop yourself from this laughter. You suppress it. You are prone, but you're back. Uh, Do you want to take your turn now? I'll just give you initiative just to put you in there. Okay, so I guess I'm a little disoriented. Yeah. So I I stop laughing, and what do I see? You can hear behind you some snarling uh, dog-like creatures, and you can see... Well, Nomo's essentially weaving and dodging around these Jekyll wares, um, and Oryx has gone around the Jekyll wares trying to get a different angle, a better angle. I imagine I'm close enough to the dog so I can... I, I think my sword magically appears in my hand anyway. So I can, I can, I can just kneel and try to stab one of the dogs. Whilst you're kneeling? Well, I move forward by feet. It depends you know, how confused I was and how much of an action I have. Really. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I guess I'll get a sneak attack. Yeah, let's say your bonus action's out, so yeah, just do it without the hex. 17, 10 damage, nice. It had 18, it's now reduced to 8 hit points. And Pebble, you haven't had a go, so over to you. I'm going to step forward and basically do the same thing again. So uh, I will say, back you devil! (laughs) How about that? 12 to hit, you take it. That one hasn't been hit yet, it takes all 16, still stands, but is now very haggard. Any more movement, Pebble? Uh, no, I'll stay there. Okay. Wait, no, I can use my extra action to disengage. Yes, I'll disengage. Okay. Pat, back to you. Okay, with my longsword again, this time I'll try to hit. That looks better. Well done! <laughs> yep, seven damage. I'll finish it off. Nice. Any movement? I'll flank this one if I can. Um, you can go as far as that, that square before. If you want to go any further, then it'll lash out at you. All right, no more. I will attack the one between Oryx <clears throat> and myself. Spear first. Mm-hmm. It's on eight hit points. And oh. now it's on one. <laughs> All right, bonus unarmed strength. Add it. Okay. And now it's on nothing. <laughs> Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Okay. Fente, very annoyed at these dogs. Has her revenge... What was it on? Yep, finishes it off. And she's going to move forward uh, 30 foot so we can get her to there. Saying, Curse these dogs! After Ante. Well done, woman! <laughs> I'm going to charge at the dog beside Nomo and the fake lizard guy. Okay. And try my light blade dagger again. Yep, it's on seven hit points now, so. 
10 yeah. won't be enough to hit it. It needs 12 to hit it. Do I get advantage because I ran in? No, you, it wasn't really a charge attack. Oh, okay. Can I still do a spell? No, unless you have a bonus spell. Okay. Lice. Right, I'll run forward again and shout, Eyes on the prize, team! Leave the puppies alone! <laughs> charge where you want to charge to. I'll show you, let's say, a 15 radius around you. So I'll go where she was and then go to the left. Okay. Anticipating her moves in case there are any other traps. Okay, what you see... I know you, John, you're evil. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't be stingy with the shadows. <laughs> That's it. Oh. As, your, oh, is. as your vision gets used to light, your surroundings shimmer for a moment, and then you see the scene clear again. And she's standing, seemingly protecting this heap of treasure at her feet. We're going to be rich. <laughs> as I approach, I'll say, we're on a mission from Lord Hyas, the Lich King. Don't get in that way. It's her turn. So um, she says, who is this Lich King? You haven't heard of Lys? Lice? Oh, Lice. <laughs> I work for him. <laughs> we're his protectors. You protect a leech? Yes. How much is he paying you? Are you considering making a better offer? You picked the wrong side, cleric. Okay, that's the end of that conversation. Pebble. Sorry, John, it's actually 20 foot radius. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, through a doorway, you can see a bit of light here. And up to there, another wall. Appears to be another doorway there as well. All right, Pebble. Dan, cannot hear you. Maybe come back to him. Yeah. So whilst we're waiting for Pavel, Hector. I say, if you're prepared to make us a better offer, then I'm sure we'll consider it. Then I attack the wolf. I'll hex as well. Okay. Yep. When you finish your conversation, you then just go over and slit the uh, wolf's throat. <laughs> finish it off. Better offer. You just come in and you destroy my home. We didn't mean to destroy your home. We came in to worship you. You set your dogs upon us. You attacked first, Dark One. I did not attack first. I was laughing for the first minute of this encounter. Yes, I can see you have a taste for greed. Well, look what I have. What do you have, then? I must admit this taste for greed. And I repeat, if you are prepared to make us a better offer, this is something that we can talk about. Where did your friend go? What was his name? Vijo. 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 Where did he go? <laughs> He's right beside you. No, the real one. <laughs> <laughs> the real <sighs> he is not Vijo. I am Vijo. Oh, okay. Sorry, it takes me a while to figure that out. <laughs> so is she opposed of any sort of lich kings, or does she sort of work with them? I care not for any lich king. You're just in it for the riches. Stealing from them. Who do you serve? I serve my master. Ooh. And who is your master? My master is beyond any of you. The Thank great you Lord Gratzt. Is he a leech king? He is not a leech king. Now what do you want? No, he's a bloody big devil. What do you want? What have you, you got? Me? I want you gone. Uh, John, can I take a peek down this hallway while uh, everyone's chatting? Which hallway? Uh, by where the dead dogs are. Wait, is the turn sure. order done? Yeah, well, I'll turn order at the moment. Okay, um, approximately how much gold do I think that there is around the pond? <laughs> and how many turns would it take for that, for me to empty that into my bag? Wow. Oh, no, you think it's a lot. You could fill many, many boots with that. Okay, there's a bit more for you, Pat. There appear to be small holes, but you can look at closer if you wish. I'm just saying to the... Uh... She-rat, whatever her name is. Mm -hmm. Is she currently holding Carmel under her, one of her spells? <laughs> I am doing what I have to do to keep magical secrets safe. What do Why, you want? Woman? Pat, is your ring tingling? <laughs> is your ring tingling? Yeah. It's given up a, just a faint vibration constantly ever since you came in here. Oh, gosh. 
I've got my bow drawn and, and say, what magic are you guarding for your master? Some things are too dark, monk, to venture into. I think it best that you leave. What I'm would it take to make you leave? Why don't we just take hey, the slaves all and, and, and all go? Oh, my loot? Come and get it, yeah. you fool. If that's all you care how about. about. The, how about those slaves out front? What about the slaves? He's guarding the pool. We'd like them. It's a scrying pool, kitty cat woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send a message to everyone in our group. Quick, kill her now when she's off guard. That's what Hayes wants. We're not going to make a deal with her to take her slaves. Also, I'm pretty sure he said he wanted the magical source eliminated. Because it could be a possible threat. And look at all that gold. I like my slaves, <laughs> she says, whilst you're thinking this. Well, we like them too. I step forward, going quite close to her, and say, Look, if we can take as much gold as we can carry, and have your slaves, then we'll get out of your hair, and we can go about our business. What do you say? I say, go to hell. Oh. <laughs> You first, and I charge at her. Charge then, charge away. And I attack. Okay. <laughs> Initiatives, people. Get back, Lois. <laughs> Hold on. Let me, let me clear it. So round two, here we go. We almost uh, had a conversation there. You almost did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I clicked it by accident. That was a premature well, firebolt she... there. <laughs> if she knew... If she knew the lich, then the things would be different, but she doesn't, so let's just kill her. Okay, she starts yeah, off with what? a nine. What do you bring into and the look table? Look at all this gold. It's crazy. <laughs> oh, you like a living magpie thing. <laughs> and she probably has a lot of good loot on her. She probably uses all that gold as kitty litter. It's still gold. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll give gold. <laughs> Whilst you're doing this, oh, um, crap. <laughs> I'll give you a chance to place yourselves where you are because oh, no one's actually done that really. So. Like that. Uh, nice can you prime. describe a couple of things first? Yeah, come on. Are, are these solid walls here on both sides? They're solid rock walls, but they do have these small entrance ways at the bottom. And this is a wall down here where I was earlier? Mm-hmm, that's a wall. Those are like mini caves, if you like. Okay, is everyone where they want to be? Yeah. Absolutely. Yep. All right, let's put the order no, in. No. Well, I actually want to be on top of her, just pummeling her face in. But, uh... Pebble, begin. Goodness, I'm not sure I want to go first. Come on, my fat little feet! <laughs> you can hold your eyes shut. <laughs> uh, hang on, let me just look at the order. Uh, and where's Pat? He is just behind me. Um, you don't want Pat behind you. <laughs> I'm usually on top. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I might defer to after him, actually. You can hold your action. You cannot hold your actual movement. So if you want to move somewhere, then do that. Oh, okay, then uh, yes, I shall. I'll dash and, and move. That's a move, then I'll do a dash. One, two, three, Stop four. there. Uh-oh. Come back to the gold. Okay. At this point, you seem to be halted, Pebble. So I feel physically pushed away or mentally wheeled or what? It feels like a physical push. Lice you will have seen this. Hector probably sees it in the peripheral. That blood squirts out from you at this point. Blood? Yes. I'll stumble backwards and uh, look confused and turn to everyone and say, oh, There's a magical wall! <laughs> <laughs> You've taken 17 damage in that charge. Oh, bloody hell. That's so funny. Pebble you might have used my remaining two uh, movement spaces to shuffle away, John, and I'm away. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It took a bit more effort. So, yes, everyone saw that, and you appear to prize yourself off um, something. All right, next turn it is Pat. So, Pat, you are aware that something happened to Pebble. I will um, unleash a vicious mockery on the lamb, yeah? Okay, so it's <laughs> a string of insults. Okay. Tourette's. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you want to give those insults? Your <laughs> papa made love to a lion, and it was <laughs> a hideous thing to watch. Your ass is so fat. She gives a sort of a quizzical expression back to you. But what was interesting is that you couldn't focus. It was difficult to target that creature with that spell. You couldn't target the creature. Oh, you stupid woman. <laughs> Anything else, Pat? 
I'll prepare a crossbow. Okay. And you can hear her go, and she goes, Temlin, now! And from over in this direction, the wizard appears, oh, and a spark comes out, and a fireball emits from this wizard, touching in just next to Nomo. So, 20 foot radius from there. Uh, fire! No. Oh, I hadn't moved away. <laughs> well, uh, yes. So 20 foot from that spot. Lice is out of it, Hector's out of the range, but it gets Pebble into Nomo, Pat, and Oryx. No. No. So everyone make a dexterity saving throw. And this is a good time to use evasion and can you dodge that type of stuff if you have it. Do it here. Oh. oh. So where did he come from? From the side? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh yes, just mate. How'd you all get on? Made it. I did not. You made it, nice. Everyone who didn't make it, Nomo and... I did. And Pebble, yeah. you take half the damage, so that is, in fact, nine damage for you two. Unless you have evasion. Jump in the pool. No, no, not yet. Next level. Everyone else took 19 damage. Ouch. Oryx, you down, are you? Unte also takes it. She's um, badly hurt. Hector, make a wisdom saving throw with DC 13 with her. Come on, Ben. Roll like you never rolled before. <laughs> yeah. Wow. In your head, Hector, you heard this command, which seemed to be said to her, Why don't you kill your friends? <laughs> I say, Why don't you kill your friends? Oh, you don't have many, do you? Sorry about that. <laughs> and that's their turn. Uh, no more. Really not happy about being burned. So, again. <laughs> yeah, again. So I'm running that way. Okay. Kill him. Yeah, and uh, tuck my bow and arrow away on the way and then grab the spear and going to hit him. All right. Go, no more, go. Go, no more, go, no more, go. <laughs> So that's the spear. It was a powerful hit. Wizard combat. And then the bonus. <laughs> it's like your technique's perfect, but you're wow. not really hitting very hard right now. <laughs> and then this will be the flurry of blows. Oh, there we go. And I will impose. Is he still up? Yeah, he's still up. I'm going to do the one that knocks him prone. Ooh. She has to make a deck save. Okay. Ooh. 16. 8 plus proficiency bonus plus wisdom modifier. Your wisdom's 5, 15. isn't it? 13, 14, yeah. 15. It makes it. No, I'll just stay here. Nice. Good move. Lice. So what happened? Pebble ran into like some sort of invisible blade barrier. And Doris is on a mound of gold. Yes? Yes. To my left of me, is there a door there, or...? There appears to be some sort of doorway, yes. Basically, it has a curtain in front of the doorways. A curtain? Yes. Ooh, I fear no curtain. <laughs> I'm going to go in there, away from her, because I don't know what happened to Pebble. Okay, you get to there, and... Oh, here we go. And what? Oh, shit. Oh, I knew it, I knew it! Yes. <laughs> and she will... She will do an attack of opportunity on you. Even though I was running into her. Ah. Yes. I knew it. Okay. Because basically, Pebble just ran into the wall. Yeah, you seem to have got that. And 11, so she misses you. <laughs> She's going to die, you cleric! And um, misses you <laughs> I'm entirely. Twatter, so hard. Uh, can I hit her then? You can. Yeah, wow. So basically, yeah, Pebble just ran into a wall and got really hurt. It's just, it's just my mace, I think. For Pebble! Does that do anything? <laughs> no, um, this is a blind versus blind at the moment, and you lunge at her just as clumsy as she lunged at you. You're obviously both very surprised. I'll bite her. <laughs> do you want to bite her as a bonus attack? Hell yeah, go on. Go on then. This is a disadvantage attack. And again. Uh 11. No, 11. Nope. 
she uh, she riles in disgust as you <laughs> as you, <laughs> as you lunge at her with your mouth. <laughs> so uh, that's the end of your turn. So yeah, Lys has just disappeared behind the curtain, shouting for Pelo. Make of that what you will, Oryx. Your turn. She's still there in front. In fact, she has been attacked. I'm going to make her roll. One second. Oh yeah. With Lysa's attack, everything changes. <gasps> oh. oh, nasty. Pebble, no. you poor thing. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Let's run. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd the gold go? Fool's gold, you fool. It's yes. an illusion. He already had it spent. Okay. What's the green ball? Oryx, it's your turn. What's the green ball? That's Pebble's brain. <laughs> oh, that's the thing that's she's guarding for Lord Grast. Yeah, so just for audio purposes, you see um, a wall of spikes in front of it, some sort of gem which is half buried in a dais in front, emitting some sort of eerie green light. I'm going to run over and touch it. <laughs> wow. Oryx <laughs> is overcome. All he sees is this green gem. <laughs> Go, Oryx, go. You go in there, what are you going to do? It's the size of a football and it's half buried in this dais. Lick it! Oh. <laughs> I'll try to pull it out. Okay, you... Oh, it stings your hands! What are you going to do? Oh. It's half your turn gone. Die, probably. Wait, my hands are stinging right now? They are stinging. Can I still do a firebolt attack from this close? On who? You can't see anyone. Not on me! No, on this! You want to do a fireball attack? Yeah, on that. Can I move back and do that? Uh, yes, you still got... How much movement do you have left? I have moved 30 foot. You have no movement. Okay, do you want to I'll, do an attack? I'll do a fireball attack from up close. Okay. Just kick it over. Let's do kick that fireball attack. Um, can I miss with this because I'm so close? Um, do an intelligence check. This is really powerful. There might be some kickback on this. <laughs> oh no. I'm behind a curtain, I'm okay. <laughs> Do it if you want to. Can I still use a spell? You can, you can. But first of all, let's see if you're standing. 2d4 damage from touching that. Okay. I don't think that'll kill me. Famous last words. <laughs> okay, take six damage. I'm at five. Okay, and now do your spell if you wish to. Um. Is this water? Where? This pond? That's water, yeah. I'm gonna use the spell shape water. What I'm trying to do is to move it over to this. Um, yeah, I'll say that you're able to move it. 30 foot, okay. Instantaneous, one hour, casting time action. Yeah, you're not close enough from there. <laughs> I'm yeah. just gonna step back. I'll just do a fireball. Okay. So with some hesitation, you decide that you're gonna do this fireball on this crystal. Yeah, make the attack. Oof. <laughs> well, I hit. You did. Take four damage. Okay. Uh, one health. <laughs> yeah, um, it seemed to just rebound the spell straight back at you, Oryx. Really? Yeah. So you're on one hit point. You can tell that this is a very powerful object. Hector. So I can still see the, the woman. The one in front of you disappeared and turned into spikes. Lice disappeared behind a curtain and sh shouting for Pelo! And you heard some scuffling. So um, it seemed like she was an illusion before. That seems possible. And can I see the one who um, Lice is next to? It's very difficult. Give me a perception check if you'd like. It's through Lice through a curtain. No. Um, but I'm aware that Lice went there, but I, I, I mm -hmm. don't know if she's still there or anything like that. No, it's a confusing moment. Yeah, the one you were looking at and all the gold just disappeared and evaporated. Oryx in front of you is blasting this gem which has just appeared. <laughs> and in the meantime, Lice has just run off behind the curtain. I shake my head condescendingly. Um, <laughs> and Oryx, I back myself into here, draw my crossbow, ready a bolt and look around suspiciously. Okay. First, could you push me back, please? 
Could you push me away from the gem, please? Um, no. Is there a visible distress you're in by being close to it? I think in a few seconds that it all happened, Oryx sort of, with a, almost a stiff corpse-like action, motions with his index finger, or one of his fingers, that like he, he wants to be moved away. Okay, then I would, I'll do that. I'll pull him over here with me. All right, Oryx, go with Hector. You're just um, staying on your feet as Hector drags you away from the crystal. I'll stand from this side of him as well. Okay, and you can still have your ready action. Yeah. Pebble. Okay, so you actually help somebody, it's pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to search his body next time. <laughs> Pebble, it's been a crazy um, few m- moments. You now see what um, was causing you distress. Yes. Well, <laughs> I'm going to step in and help life and whip out a sneak attack. Wham! 16 will hit. 15 damage. Nicely done. I am going to use my bonus action to disengage. Okay. Maybe I'll step one away. That's it. Pebble did a quick in out attack and hit. Okay, nice. Pat. I'll try my crossbow on the, uh, whatever his name was, uh, Temlin. Yep, very good. And, that, and that's sincerely too, before remembering his name. Uh, that's a hit, maybe? 16? 16? 16 against this wizard. Uh, yes, it does hit. 7 damage. Now, one thing I want to check. One of the 1 damages, Nomo, you said was wrong? Well, that was the additional 1 for a crit, but he got 8 on that. Eight, and so it's an extra seven. In which case, Pat, how do you take him down? Oh, he's down? Yes. Thank you for asking. The bolt goes through his eye. It <laughs> bounces off the stone wall behind him. Wow. It bounces back out forward through his eye and then falls to the ground in front of him as he collapses on top of it. He does. He collapses it into the right death pile the, here. It should go right back in the crossbow. <laughs> <laughs> next time. Next time. Oh. Hell of a shot. Hell of a shot. If I even survive that green orb. <laughs> Did you leave the flight as well? I'm gonna leave that bolt there. It was such a fine shot, maybe it should be retired. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Nomo's next. Yeah. Um well, with your vision, Nomo, can't you see where the wizard came from? It's all changed since you were last round that corner, Nomo. Right. So I think I can get to here. Yeah, I probably just get here. That's as far as I can um, get. And can I see anything from there? Uh, you can see a curtain rattling in the breeze. You can hear lice swinging. Okay, as a free action, I'll push the curtain open. Yes. And then you can see a lioness with a human body. Okay. All right, so I'll hold it open. Oh, then once you hold it open, then Hector can loose his arrow through the curtain, through the door. I can, I'll give you a disadvantage shot, Hector. I'll take it. Because <laughs> you did say you'd ready it, didn't you? He did. I did. I like um, this. Could, would I get a sneak attack? Uh, yes, you would, if you hit. Oh. Should we take the first one? Either way, it doesn't matter. It's um, 13 AC. Okay. Would it be pushing it to ask if it's a free action to open the curtain? Can I throw a dart with the other hand? No, you can do that. Yeah. All right. Terry's darts of death. Yes. Poor oh, blimey. That is a dart of death. Well, it's a dart of hurt. Dart of pain. <laughs> okay, nice. Next. Lice. Oh, I'm going to hit her again with my mace. That's all I can do. Twat! <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh that happened. Yeah. <laughs> oh, really? I looked at the dark thing and then I scrolled down. Oh, oh poor human Damn eyesight. It. Yes, you, uh, you swing again. through the dark again and miss. Can I move into further into the room? Can Go I do for that it, yeah. After swinging. Yep. Um, I'll try and flank it up again. Okay. So there's the rest of the room. Whoa, that's awesome. There's a chessboard and... <laughs> It might be checkers. <laughs> As a bonus action, she's going to get some dust and throw it at you. So DC 15 constitution save. Lice, um, in fact, because he moved around, it's only directed at him. Thanks, Lice. <laughs> oh, you're quite welcome, sir. Here we go. How's that? Oh, wow. Thanks. Great save. Frustrated, oh. she lunges at you David, with her attacks. 
<laughs> the dust bounces off your eyes as you stare at her. Is that all you got, woman? Curse you, cleric! And here she goes. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. 20 damage and, and 4 damage. Take 24 damage. Oh, I'm down then. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I've got, cleric! <laughs> <laughs> Great last words as the cleric drops. <laughs> She's very catty. Okay, next, Oryx. There are very aggressive noises coming from behind those curtains, and Hector just fired a very good oh. shot but just missed through the curtain. I don't see Unte doing anything, by the way. I'm still holding the curtain open. Okay, she'll go up to uh, Pebble Noma and just quickly say, what's going on? <laughs> in there. T tell her to roll initiative. So she's currently assessing where things are, so that's Unte's go this turn, I think. <laughs> Oryx then. I want to move the water over top of the orb and then freeze it and try to move it back off the pedestal. I like the way how you prioritise things, Finn. Yeah. <laughs> Shape water. You can't float the water. You can kind of create a stream in through the air. Um, okay. Okay, so at the moment, I'll say it's, you can do 15 foot this turn. It's like a half-completed rainbow from the water up to there. I'd rather do it from here. Yeah, so if you're happy to put a blue stream in up to there, please, that'd be great. Okay. But yeah, you're fully concentrating on that at the moment, whilst there are howling going on in the background. That's Oryx. Hector, you just missed, but you know exactly what's going on now, Hector. I will switch through and attack it. Okay. Switch and stab, switch and stab, sir. Switch and stab. Do you want to use your bonus action at all? There's no one next to her. Oh, isn't there? No, Lys is dead. I'm dead. Oh, sorry, Lys. <laughs> <laughs> I'll re-roll that. Sorry. Yeah, if you want to re-roll that. That's a better hit. That's much better. <laughs> okay, yeah, she cries out in pain. It takes that 11 damage. After Hector, Pebble. Okay, well, here goes, I suppose. I will dive back in and try and make another attack for opportunity. Okay, Hector's giving you a sneak attack. <sighs> oh. Nope, too eager, Pebble, too eager. <laughs> I'll go, ah! and then run back. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Pat. Uh, I'm going to go and examine this guy's body, the dead wizard. Yep, you can quickly look around what the wizard has. Um, he has a dagger. That appears to be everything he has. I mean, he has a cloak, which is a, a bright red cloak, similar to your own. He does have a necklace with some, some sort of claw on it. Nice. There you go. Might be magical. Okay, I'll uh, grab the necklace. Yep. And uh, if I still have a bit of movement, I'll make my way over to roundabout here. Yeah, but you still use your movement. So, John, before he cast the fireball, where did he come from? He just appeared, right? He just there? appeared. Just appeared, as far as you can tell. Oh, so he's invisible. <laughs> Could have been. Uh... After Pat, it's her. Uh, it's Viju. So you only see Hector right now. Nomo is a curtain holder right now. <laughs> <laughs> come to the room of death. She'll full out attack you, Ben. <laughs> full out. What she got? She's getting a bit desperate now. So, fourteen and twenty-one. Okay, I have um temporary hit points. Okay, you get hit for six. Oh, damage. Yeah, six damage. You? I thought that was damage. No, no. <laughs> six. Okay. That would have been crazy. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> and she'll attempt to throw some dust your way, Nomo, through the curtain, but you get an advantage to this roll, so it's um, constitution 15. Save? Yep, you get two chances at saving. Oh, nice. Uh, they'll do the first time, so 15 and 18. You need both times, not a problem. Curtain out. <laughs> That's her turn. Nomo, it is your turn. All right, I will uh, let go of the curtain, <laughs> rush in next to Hector and start Stabbing and punching. Okay. Maybe even kicking. <laughs> Ooh, good. That's the spear. Yep. So I'll use another key point for flurry of blows. Okay. 19. And yep. Full damage. 
trying to knock her prone? I don't know if she's too big or... Mm, yeah, probably disadvantage. Cats always land on their feet. Or an advantage for her, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what's she got to do? Uh, difficulty of 15. Okay. To save. Um, yeah, oh. one of them passes. Uh, that's all the attacks. Okay. And I'm just going to move back to this spot. I, I can't get around her, can I? You can sidle past Hector if you wish to try and go that way around. Like that? Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Okay. All right, after Nomo. Lice. I'm dead. Make a death <laughs> saving throw. This. Yes. That's one fail. <laughs> Unte. Yep, she'll join the fray. Hello. She needs some good ones. Damn, Unte. Good job. She does 12 damage. After Unte. Oryx. Would I be able to get to the orb on this turn? 15 foot. Okay, so that's a no. Not quite. I can get there, though. Yeah, you can get right up next to it. If I stop doing that, will it go away? The water will just collapse. Really? If you stop focusing on no. the water, it'll stop shaping. Okay, I'll get up right here. Okay. Hector. You definitely get your bonuses now. I will slice her up. Do it. If ever there was a time for a crit, this would be oh, it. Oh, really? Oh, man. That would have been so good. Bad luck, that would have been, yeah, that would have been impressive. Pebble. Right, well, try again, I suppose. Okay. Got a pebble! Here we go. Come on. Oh, oh, God's sake. Sheepers. Okay, one or two or a six. Can you roll a d6, Dan? You go in there and you just stab like this shower scene six. in Psycho. You drop your weapon. Oh. It goes ting, 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 ting. Uh, can I still stone. run away? Or? You can still run away. You just won't have your dagger, that's all. Uh, I will. I mean, oh, God, oh, no. <laughs> okay, go <laughs> Pat. Will I be able to move here and fire off the crossbow bolt? Um, you can, but you're not sure what you're aiming at. There's a curtain there. Oh, okay, yes, and it's drawn. Mm. Pull okay. the bloody curtain down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll go and pull the bloody curtain down. <laughs> Will it come down? You start pulling. Give me a strength check. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, yep, you start pulling it down, you start ripping into that curtain, and yeah, you, you take a big part of this cloth. The part by Unte is down. You rip it down like a very frustrated camp interior designer. <laughs> and then Vijo's turn. You hear her say, this is not the last you've seen of me! <laughs> and she attempts to disengage. Oh. And so she's going to go through here. That's 15 foot. Now the question is, if she goes into someone else's area, does she still disengage? I think that's how we play the rules. Of disengage, I think you continue to disengage. Finish her. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll definitely take a shot if I can. Okay. Or Unte. Don't go through my water. <laughs> okay, she's going to go as far as she can, which is up to here. And then she's going to jump Pebble. As she attempts to jump, she's no longer uh, avoiding everyone carefully. You can do an attack of opportunity against her. You have no I've dagger. My <laughs> <laughs> could I, I, I mean, I, I have one on my person which I could draw, but I don't know if that counts anymore, really. Yeah, you can draw a weapon. I just think you have disadvantage if you do that. Because it, this is all happening in a blur. Sure, okay. Uh, all right. Slice her belly as she jumps over you. Here we go. Oh. No. And, and, like yeah. and you miss. And then she will use... This is her jump. 18. You see her jump in here and flip, disappear under the water. Oh, she just got away, guys. Hey, we still have all the gold. When you say disappear, is she just... Do we think she's in the water or do we think she's disappeared? She appeared to go under the water. Okay. Oh, she's still there. Okay, you are now out of initiative turn. I run over to the water and we are? see if you find her. Okay. Could I do what I wanted to try? Yeah, was this pure water you were doing across here? Yeah, it's it was all the water from there. Okay, um, just out of interest, give me a wisdom save because she jumped through your water. 
Ew. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it's okay. We're, we're out of... Um, That's true. You can do it again. So, yeah, Oryx is there. Oh, not a problem. You, you maintain it like an expert. Okay, and the water hits. As it hits, it, it explodes out. The water explodes outward, just soaking this area around. And as far as you can tell, the gem is dry. Okay. You know how you can freeze the water? You want to freeze the water? Yeah, but I want to wrap it around the orb and then try to freeze it. Okay, so whilst that's going on, because I'll take a few turns, Hector, you were charging towards the water. What, running, yeah. Okay. You can see the water is it's bubbling on the surface, but near the centre, it drowning. doesn't appear to be doing so. It appears to be almost like a spiral. The water's a bit like a sink when you take the plug out. Okay. Around the edges, it's bubbling up. I try and stab the centre, but I, I, I don't want to get my arm in the water. I tentatively poke it. You poke the water, you cannot poke the center of the water if you don't want to get wet. But you notice that your hand comes up very easily as if the water's motioning up. The bubbles erupt quite violently on the surface. I hold my hand kind of roughly above it to see if the water seems to be very hot or anything like that. It doesn't appear to be hot. And I swish my sword around in it, it seems to be watery. Yep, um, it carves through the water. Okay. Um, I tentatively put a foot in the water. Okay, and it just hovers on top of the water as if it was made of salt water. Okay, I stand. Okay, yep, you stand on it. It seems to push you against the side. Is anyone else doing anything in the meantime? Yeah, I'm going to take my periaptive wound closure off my neck and put it around Lice's neck. Okay, and Lice breathes steadily. <laughs> 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 and the bleeding seems to stop. I'll nice. apply whatever medicine I can do. <laughs> yep, <laughs> you can do that. Nice, <laughs> nice, nicely role played, Rob. I like that. That's right. <laughs> um, you're completely stabilized. He's on zero hit points, but stabilized. I have to go at this point. Yeah, likewise. Yeah, that's a good point to freeze the action. Are we stopping now? <laughs> we are. Yeah. We'll find out what happens to your um, ice sculpture next time. <laughs> Put some vodka down it. I could shrink the dais holding it or I can move the frozen ice around it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, to be continued. Yeah, have some thoughts and uh, come back. Thanks Bye. a lot. Bye. See y'all.